a brazen kidnapping today in broad daylight. The president's chief of staff taken at gunpoint in the capital city of Sanaa. Shiite rebels have just claimed responsibility, and we're learning that just weeks before the Paris attacks, wow. Yemeni officials detained two Frenchmen for suspected links to al-Qaeda. CNN's Nick Peyton Walsh is in Yemen for us. What's the latest on this chief of staff that was kidnapped? Any new demands? Anything new about, you know, his disposition? How is he? Well, Frederica, you don't get much of a clearer picture as to how much of a failing state Yemen is and the fact that at 10 o'clock this morning, uh, Dr. Ahmed bin Mubarak can be taken from his car by armed men in the very city center of Sana'a behind me. Now, yes, uh, we don't have any update as to his current condition. We do know, as you mentioned, that hours after that uh, uh, abduction, a group called the Houthis, that is a movement here, a combination of political militia uh, and tribes that are predominantly Shia here, uh, said that they had detained him because they were concerned uh, that the president was going to usher in a constitution that they were not happy with as part of a long negotiated peace and transition process here. The U.S. and U.K. embassies have issued an immediate call for Dr. Mubarak's release and condemned uh, the abduction. And this really shows, I think, how increasingly powerful the Houthi movement here feel they are. In the past months, they have gained in momentum across the country, taking a lot of territory in the last few months, moving into the capital, Sana'a itself. We see their checkpoints on the main roads here. Their opponents are the presidential administration, what's left of the government here, uh, and the loose uh, conglomeration of Sunni tribes and other groups here, which sometimes even include al-Qaeda as well. Al-Qaeda often attack uh, the Houthis here in Yemen. Yemen, frankly, in a lengthy civil conflict, it's a mess. It's nothing that's going to be calmed by this escalating move by the Houthis today, and it really shows how little executive power what is left of government here in Yemen has. And bear in mind, there's an economic collapse coming soon here too.